What's going on guys? It's been a long time no see. For those of you who don't know, my name is Samson and welcome back to the channel. As you guys know, usually we do car reviews, we do the builds, but I've been promising you guys this for a long time and in today's video, we do have my brand new FN510. Now, I say brand new, but I purchased this gun, can't remember how long ago, probably about a month ago. I did do an unboxing video on it that I'll have to put down in the description. Um, however, absolutely love this gun. I have fired it already. I know I told you guys in the video I was going to wait until I did the review to fire it, but I couldn't help myself. Absolutely love the gun. Love the styling on it. Now, I did trade in my FNX 45. Yes, I did trade in my FNX 45. Trust me, it was not because I wanted to. I really, really love the FNX 45. However, I have been wanting to try a 10 mil gun and with this gun, the styling on it was absolutely beautiful. You do get a 22 round mag as well, which we're gonna go over in a little bit. Um, however, just really love the styling and I wanted to try 10 mil as an actual cartridge. Uh, I have tried the 45, I've had shot a nine before uh, and also a 40 Smith and Weston, um, of course, uh, 357. So I really just wanted to try this cartridge as a whole and really see what the difference between this and the 45 is and i will tell you this guys this is a lot more fun to shoot for me a lot of people uh, believe the 45 is more powerful if you look at on paper and in real life practical reasons 10 mil is a little bit more powerful than 45 more energy transfer just an overall a uh, little bit more unique round and so 10 mil is going to run you a little bit more expensive with this particular gun, I did pay right around a thousand for it. Of course, you can get some Springfields. I believe Glock has a, I, believe, I think it's a Glock 20 that's chambered in 10 mil. Um, however, you just, it's hard to skip past the class and the beauty of an FN. Just an absolutely beautiful gun. But in today's video, we're gonna go ahead, shoot it. Let's talk about some of the features on it. And uh, just like that, guys, let's get into the video. We have a 2015 Ferrari, La Ferrari C8 Corvette Z06. Uh, Challenger Scat Pack. Now, like I mentioned guys, this gun does also come with this 22 round mag as well as this 15 rounder. And one thing that I've noticed, at least with, uh, with both of them full capacity, the 22 literally clips in very, very easy. You can just put it in there, no problem. Uh, however, and this could be just my particular gun, I'm not sure if other people are having the same issue. With this 15 round, it is, it is very, I mean, you guys can see, I'm putting a whole lot of pressure into that. And it still doesn't really want to go in. So. Whenever I put it in, I slam it. A lot of people do that anyway, so it might not be a big deal to you. However, one thing that I did notice is that with the uh, with the 22 rounder, it literally goes in there just fine. Uh, with the 15, if you try to put it in there the same way, you guys can see, you see I'm hitting it same, just like I did with the 22. And it does have a little bit of a, uh, unwillingness to just go ahead and push all the way up in there. Like I mentioned, you do have your ampedestrious uh, mag releases as well as, let me put the mag in there real quick, as well as your actual slide lock on both sides. So it is ampedestrious. Now, one thing that I really like about this uh, FNX, I mean, the, uh, you guys can see I'm still on my FNX 45. One thing I really like about this FN 510 is that it does have the suppressor height sights, which is, depending on what you're gonna use it for, can be a bonus. Uh, you also have a plate up here if you do wanna add some type of optic, which I'm gonna do. Everything's just real expensive right now, so I don't necessarily need one, so I'm just holding off. Um, but the suppressor height sights, really, really lovely. Now, I think in North Carolina, uh, and this may be across uh, the US, but I think in North Carolina, you do have to try to go to your sheriff's office and get cleared, uh, get some type of permit or uh, certification to be able to actually purchase a suppressor legally, of course. 
Um, but as you guys can see, you do have the threaded barrel. And I'll take it off just so you guys can see. Very, very crisp on the threads. Absolutely. Sometimes I'm just threading it and unthreading it just for the hell of it. Um, just because it feels very, very crisp. Absolutely love it. You guys can see the beautiful engraving that you have up here. FN, Columbia, South Carolina, USA. You do have your 10 mil right here as well. On the other side, that beautiful FN crest with the 510, with the 10 mil. This is just a very, very beautiful gun. And whenever you go ahead, you take this 15 rounder out and you load it up with that 22. Just a very, very, very appealing gun. Absolutely love the style on it. You do have your adjustable back straps. This did come with a different back strap which is in the box still. And if you guys want to check that out, it is in the unboxing video. Um, love the grip on these. You do have this bit of a textured grip up here where the uh, sort of crest part of your finger is gonna sit a little bit more textured right there. And then you have this uh, little gnarled grip around the rest of the handle. And the, the other back strap that comes with this is a flatter back strap. This one is a little bit more rounded. I like that for my particular grip. Overall, just a very, very nice gun. And one thing that I didn't notice until I was looking at this thing in the dark is that the sights are illuminated uh, at night. And so if you did want to shoot something at nighttime, you still are able to see your sights. Um, I believe, uh, I guess they could be fiber optic. I think that's the term for them. Um, very, very lovely for that particular uh, uh, gimmick that it has, so to speak. I absolutely love it. But uh, how about this, guys? We've done enough talking. How about we go ahead and do a little bit of shooting, and uh, I'll let you guys know how I feel about this versus my uh, 45, the FNX 45 that I had. I'll let you know the difference in feel when it comes to caliber and the guns also as well. All right, now, I'm not sure about you guys, however, um, a lot of your other gun review channels, they do have almost unlimited access to ammo, whether it be somebody sponsoring them or whatever the case is. So we're gonna fire some rounds. We're not gonna fire 50 rounds, 100 rounds like some of them be doing. However, nonetheless, we are gonna fire some rounds. We have one in the chamber and uh, let's go ahead, let it ride. When it comes to this versus my uh, FNX 45, it definitely has a lot more kick. And so if you are a bit of a smaller shooter, um, maybe a 10 mil isn't something I would suggest. However, what I will say is it's, it's the gun overall, it handles the recoil very, very well. Absolutely love the grip. Don't feel like the gun is slipping in my hand every time it recoils. Really, really nice on the uh, the take up as far as the trigger goes. You do have that wall that you hit and then that release, go ahead and let that round fire out. Really, really nice. You do have a very, very short reset as well. Um, overall, very, very nice gun. Let's go ahead, let's fire these last two rounds. Beautiful, 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 beautiful gun. Uh, like I mentioned, gun ammo is expensive. So this is gonna be it for now. Um, however, I do have AK-47 inside. I got an Uzi, I have an AR-15, and I'm gonna bring this to the channel more as well. I know a lot of you really, really want to see a review on this FN-510. Very, very nice gun. If you're able to grab one, I definitely would suggest it. I think I had to wait a very, very long time for this gun, being that it is as new as it is. Um, it was very, very hard to come by. Um, I think because they're making them, so you have to get, certain places have to get allocations for them. Um, so they were a little bit difficult to find. However, overall, very, very beautiful gun. Love shooting it, absolutely love shooting it. 
Uh, and I, I really can't say much more about it in terms of just how impressed I am with it. Um, as far as how it compares to my FNX 45, I would say it's hard for me to choose. Um, the FNX 45 is completely different in terms of how it feels, almost and also in terms of how it looks. Now, one of the reasons why I did trade in my FNX 45 for this one is because I do want to get the FNX 45 Tactical, which in my personal opinion is a little bit cooler. Um, it does have the suppressor height sights. It also has the uh, ability to add a silencer if you want. One thing I loved about that gun is that you get, do get 15 rounds of 45 ACP. If you go with an aftermarket mag, you can get 20 rounds of 45 ACP. However, it's very hard to choose between the two. I would reckon if I had to, I would probably choose this just because I really do think the gun just looks very, very beautiful. It is 10 mil, very, very powerful gun. So you're not gonna have issues whether it's two-legged people or whether it's four-legged animals. Um, you're not gonna have issues with being able to put down what you need to put down. But just like that, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed the view. If you'd like to see more of this gun, especially when I deck it out with some different things like a light, an optic, um, maybe get some, some different colored grips, trigger, whatever the case is, make sure that you guys please like, comment, subscribe, because I'm going to try to bring more of these gun videos to the channel for sure. Uh, but just like that, guys, I hope you really enjoyed it, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.